What's up guys, back in and go with another YouTube video and today we're going to be doing installing a upgrade radiator on my 1992 Mazda Miata. Alright, first things first, what you're going to want to do is jack up your car in all four jacks. Now once you got your car jacked up, now what you want to do is open the rad cap right here. It'll be a lot easier for it to flow. Now on the driver's side, what you want to do is take this hose off and drain all the coolant. All right, now at the top, since you're letting the bottom drain, you can take this hose off right here. All right, now you can move this hose back just like this and just tuck it in somewhere so it stays. All right, now what you wanna do is disconnect these two connectors. There's one right here and one right here. After you're done disconnecting them, disconnect this hose right here. All right, now with a 12, what you gotta do is take this bolt out right here, right there. It's on the top, you can see it right there. And then on the driver's side right here too, there is another 12 hiding right there. You gotta loosen that and take that out. Right, once you took those two 12s out, now we gotta go to the bottom. Now when you're under here, you take this 10 out right here and you take this hose fully off, this 10 right here. Now once you have everything unbolted, now you can just pull up the radiator. Okay, so now we can place both our rads on the ground or like this. I have the bubble wrap, so nothing happens to the fins. But this one is garbage, so that's why it is just placed like that. But now what you want to do is switch these tabs over to the new radiator. As you can see, you got to swap these over. So someone did already mess with this. As you can tell, this is a screw. But I will be just swapping that over to the new rad. So you got to swap these rad supports over onto this one. And the OEM ones have little clips just like that. And I'll be showing you how to take this off. Now with a little flathead screwdriver, you want to just twist this off. And it should just come right off just like that. Okay, so now what you want to do is swap it over to the new rad. And what you want to do is put it in. And you're going to want to lightly push it forward and clip the clip back in the pin. Now from your old rad, you want to pull these little things out right here. On both sides, these little rubber grommets. And you want to put them in the new radiator. Swap them over. All right, now once you're done, grabbing the grommet out of the old one. Now it's time to put it in. Now, once you have it in, just like this, everything is all good. Now you wanna tighten up the two bolts. So one goes right there and the other one goes right there. So I'm tying these two 12s up. Now once you got those 12s tightened up, now what you want to do is put this hose back on. All right, now once you get the bottom hose clamp on, now what you want to do is put on the top one, which is right here. All right, now what you want to do is you want to cut both of these wires off right here. So just one and two. All right, now what you want to do is you want to take the insulator off right here. So you're going to lightly press it down so you don't fully cut it. And just like this, you're going to pull this insulator off. And now what we're going to do is we're going to take the insulator off of these. So we're going to strip them back just like this. Now what you want to do is just fold these over just a tiny bit. Once you're done with that, now you want to put these caps on right here. Twist them on until you can see the copper right there. And now you just clamp them down just like this. 
Now you do it to this wire and this one. You just finish this one out. All right, so now down here, there are the two connectors right here, as you can see, right there. Now you're just going to connect it right into here, and then connect it into the old plug and just move it out the way and organize it. All right, now we're going to be connecting this side. So blue goes to blue and black goes to black. So let's do that real fast. Okay, now, once you've done all of that, now you just connect the connectors together, back how they were. And now you just wanna move all these wires out the way. So when the lights go down right here, they, nothing's in the way. So you kinda of wanna just, you know, tuck everything away and organize it, you know, put a couple of zip ties to everything and organize this one too, so it doesn't go in the belt or anything. And now we can put on the last coolant hose. All right, now what you want to do is just put this expansion tank hose back on. All right, now you want to grab your coolant funnel and you want to find the right adapter that goes onto this so we can bleed the coolant. All right, now we're going to mix the distilled water with Asian vehicle concentrate. All right, so now you got your funnel on the rad. Now what I like to do is just cut this bottle out and I like to just go like this. And then I just pour coolant in here so I can do it nice and slow, just like this, and then you fill it all the way up. All right, now once you have coolant coming from the top right here, now that means that all this is full. But now what you want to do is start your car and let it run and make sure the heat is on blast all the way and the fans are all the way up. You started your car. Now what you want to do is slide this all the way over and throw on the fans. And just let the car run. All right, now since the car is running and the heat is on, the car is going to circulate all the coolant. So now you're going to see bubbles come out of here and every time this keeps getting low, you just put coolant in. Now you just have to let the car get up to operating temperature. Now the last step is just putting on this cap. All right, and that is how you guys install a racing slash Amazon upgraded radiator with upgraded fans. See you guys in the next one.